So as an engineer, one thing I absolutely love is data. There's nothing better than some good hard numbers to set some ground truths for a project. So today, I'm going to set up Proxmox metrics logging to InfluxDB and view it in Grafana on a beautiful dashboard. This will help me look at how many resources all of my VMs and containers are using, so I can better balance my Proxmox cluster, decide what hardware I need to buy, what hardware I can shut down if I can move services around, all that kind of good stuff. Having this data is really important if you want to expand or scale your home lab. It also looks really cool too. So hop in with me on this adventure. So let's get this software installed. We have to install InfluxDB, our time series database server, Grafana, our graph, and we need to configure all of those. So let's hop over. I'm going to use a standard Debian 12 container, LXC container in Proxmox. You can use Debian 11 if you want. Debian 12 is the latest, so I'm going to use it. Does not need any special permissions. Uh, unprivileged is fine. We're going to put our influx DB database on the root partition, so you'll need enough space for influx. Um, the data isn't massive. We're logging at a relatively low rate, so I don't know, I'll give it 32 gigs. So both Influx and Grafana have repositories available for Debian. So we can add that to our sources.list and add our signing key. Then we can use apt update to keep these packages up to date. Each of them have a slightly different way of distributing their signing key. I have all the commands in my blog post if you just want to copy and paste that, read through them, make sure you like them. So I'm just going to copy and paste both ones from Influx and Grafana and that'll get them installed. So basically they distribute their key in a way that needs to be dearmored. And then we add it to the sources.list and it's all in flux. And for Grafana, they distribute the key directly. We just download it and then add it to our sources at list and install Grafana. So now that the install is done, we need to configure both of them through the web UI. Both of them have a default port and a default password. For Influx, it's port 8086, and for Grafana, it's port 3000. So Influx has this beautiful getting started guide where we can set up our username and password. This is going to become our admin account that we use to create buckets and stuff later. So set it to something good. While we're in Influx, let's create an API user so Proxmox can push data to its bucket and a bucket for Proxmox to push to. And under API tokens, we're going to generate an API token that's custom and give it access to read write to only the Proxmox bucket. So now it's given us an API key and it's never going to tell it to us again. So you have to take this and copy it over to Proxmox so Proxmox can push its metrics into Influx. So data center, metric server, add InfluxDB. So it defaults to UDP, which is used for InfluxDB1. Since we're using InfluxDB2, we can use HTTP on port 8086. Then we need to set the organization, the bucket, and the API token. So now that Proxmox is pushing data to Influx and Influx is all set, let's set up Grafana. It's going to default to HTTP port 3000 and the default username and password are admin and admin. So Grafana is extremely powerful. So to get started, we need to set up a data source that points to our Influx DB server and then we can add a dashboard that shows a Proxmox system. I'm not going to go through the full setup of how to set up a dashboard in this video, but there's some really good examples online. I'll show you how to import them. So InfluxDB. For query language, in InfluxDB2, usually we want to use Flux, the more modern language. Um, you can still use the older InfluxQL if you have a need for it. I'm going to set up Flux in this video. You can obviously set your own stuff up.
And for Grafana, I'm gonna create a new API token again. This one's gonna have access to all of our buckets, but read only, since Grafana doesn't need to write any data. So now that Grafana is able to connect, let's add our dashboard. So at this point, I gave Proxmox a few days to push his log files to InfluxDB. You could do this right away, but you wouldn't have very much data in the log, which is fine, I guess. So let's add a dashboard to Grafana so we can see all that data I've collected. So coming over here, I chose this beautiful dashboard that somebody already made for Proxmox, written in Flux, so it can use InfluxDB2. We can go over here and add it. So we could say import dashboard, we need the URL or we can import the JSON file. So we could say copy ID to clipboard and paste it. Now it's gonna go on to Grafana, find it. It's gonna name it Proxmox Flux. We can just call that Proxmox. Let's click our data source. So Proxmox is the one we created in the last step. So we will say import. So data source is Proxmox. A bucket is default, that needs to be Proxmox. And server, right here is my only server. So here's what we have, two cores, not a whole lot of load, not a whole lot of memory. Yeah, that looks about right. So we got some storage pools, some VMs, some containers. We can see what our CPU usage looks like. So it's honestly really low. Uh, memory, we're using about half of it. So now to save this, it defaults to last six hours. We can change this to whatever we want. So maybe we want 24 hours. When we hit the save button here, we probably want to say save current variable values. That would be over here, the data source, bucket, and server. And you can also say save current time ranges if you want as well. And whenever you make a change, you'll have to go hit the save button. So this will mean it'll default to 24 hours. Maybe I want to default it to seven days. Let's see, I've only been logging for about two days. You can save that up here. Save current time range as a default. Or not, whatever, whatever you like. So now that I have this dashboard set up and running, I can add this to all of my servers. All of my servers can push to it. I can look at it all in the same Grafana instance. That'll let me get a feel for how many resources a lot of my systems are actually using. So when I go to build the three node cluster that I'm working towards, I won't be oversizing the hardware and using too much power or things like that. So if you like this video, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe, all that good stuff. I have a Discord server link down below if you wanna share your Proxmox dashboards or your Grafana dashboards. I would love to hear about it. Um, yeah, and as always, I'll see you on the next adventure.